My name is Sonny Sandoval. I sing for a band called P.O.D. And um, a little bit of my testimony. Uh, I wasn't raised uh, in a Christian family. I was raised uh, in a young family. Mother's from Italy. Father's from Utah. Uh, grandparents from Guam, from Italy, from Mexico. and. Anyways, grew up in a young family. Um, my family was Catholic, and um, they were young doing their thing, and so, you know, I had no real um, knowledge of God. It was mostly kind of just a, you know, a religious routine um, that I experienced, and I would only go to church on Easter and uh, Christmas, and so I've always loved God. I've never had a problem with with. Jesus, it kind of just, you know, it's cultural. It kind of runs in the family. Um, but I never knew God personally. And then, um, you know, long story short, um, I watched my parents and go to divorce and, you know, watch my mom do her thing and young families just party and kind of, you know, just trying to find their way themselves. But I, uh, you know, my uncle would come to know the Lord and I would um, kind of watch his life and then eventually my mother would get saved and then I watched how God changed her life and then when she was uh, at 37 she was diagnosed with leukemia and uh, so I watched her suffer and struggle with that but at the same time you know still believing in, in Jesus and still believing that uh, her God was real and um, because of her it was something that I really you know respected and I wanted for myself you know I uh, had all the reasons to be uh, angry or bitter towards God um, for other things that were going on in my life and and obviously losing her was, was big but I watched her give God the glory um, through all of that and uh, that was a turning point in my life at 19 to give God a, a chance and um, so I wanted to get to know God on a personal level and that's when um, the Bible and Christianity was introduced um, to my life um, and it was time for me to grow up and you know start knowing who I'm serving and, and I got saved and I started reading the Bible started going to church and eventually I was uh, you know wanting to share the things that I've come to know with all those around me once you start to know about God's goodness and his love and you start to understand good and evil and, and heaven and hell. Um, you know, it's human nature to to have a burden for the people around you. Um, and so me, of course, wanting to share this good thing that I found in my life, um, I was asked to, to, to join a, a band. And it was something that I never ever thought I would do or ever dreamt of doing, but I knew that uh, being a fan of music myself, that music speaks and I knew that, um, you know, if there was one way to reach people and to reach um, my neighborhood was, um, was through music. And I figured, why can't I be in this band and, and, you know, say what was real to me? You know, that's what music is about. It's about speaking the truth, being honest, doing it from your heart. And um, so I was asked to be in this band called P.O.D. And it's allowed me in 23 years to um, go around the world, get in front of millions of people and use music effectively, use it wisely, use it as a tool to um, speak to people and share my faith in Jesus. Um, you know, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a pastor, never had intentions to do that. I just wanted to share, um, you know, the real thing that I experienced in my life and, and the good news in my life. And so I've been able to do that through music. And I believe that I mean, there's, there's those that are called to, to preach and there's those that are called to, you know, stand on a corner and <laughs> share the gospel, whatever, whatever's your thing. But me, I always wanted to do it artistically and I never wanted to force anything on anybody because I didn't come to know Christ because I was forced to, it's because I was real. And I found in my travels in the world that a lot of people are turned off um, by Christianity because they're forced and they don't have the freedom to think for themselves. Um, and so for, for me, 
it's like, hey man, if I can get people to, to vibe on the music, then maybe they'll listen deeply and then believing that God can use someone like me and the music that we create, um, you know, it'll reach whoever God wants it to reach. Um, and so 23 years later, uh, I continue to love people through music. Um, everything I've done outside of music has always been on uh, my own, whether it's um, you know, just hanging with people at concerts and having the awesome opportunity to pray with people and lead people to the Lord um, at concerts. It's all been because of the common um, bond that we have in music. So music has softened up uh, the heart to be able to be honest and just to, to be real with people. And I think our music has always kind of um, been honest and real in the first place. And um, so as long as uh, I can keep making music and playing shows, you know, my complete um, desire of my heart 100% is to see people come to know Jesus. And if it takes this crazy music to do it, then um, that's what it takes. My involvement with Savior Watches is, um, again, I think a lot of times with POD, you have people come up saying, hey man, I love your ministry. And it's like sometimes, you know, the world doesn't understand what, what that is because it's just, it's just rock and roll. I think everything I do outside of POD in my own life as a testimony is what I consider ministry, you know. I don't get paid for ministry, I, I, I make music, you know. So everything I do that I want to be eternal is what I do in my own life. And, um, you know, why I'm involved with um, Savior Watches is because I, you know, I respect and appreciate the heart. This isn't about a new fashion or a new business or about making money, it's about um, giving back. And one thing with music, you have to be creative, you have to use ideas that are gonna attract people. You know, some people th that we can connect with music, some people, hey, they like <laughs> quality, awesome watches, you know? Um, I think one thing with being able to connect with people and no matter what you do is to be excellent. And um, the only way to, to connect people uh, or connect to people uh, is by the things that we do. Some people just don't want to be, um, you know, they can't relate to biblical things or they can't um, relate to ministry. And so sometimes you have to win them over um, differently, whether it's through music, whether through its art, whether it's, you know, sports, um, whether it's through fashion, you know. People can relate to things like that. And then once there is a heart and soul behind it, then maybe um, they'll dig deeper into it. And I know with Savior Watches, you know, when I was first told about it, how, you know, they're getting all the material straight from Israel, you know. First of all, I have a love and a heart and a passion for Israel. And so I thought that was an amazing thing. You know, the whole purpose uh, behind it um, was to be quality. Um, but not only that, you know, the money that would be made would be going into um, ministries. Um, I think one of the, you know, the first um, objectives was to build a church here in my own community of San Diego, you know, and to, um, you know, continue to further the gospel um, and Bible teachings um, it, through, through church. And that was one thing that, that caught me. Um, you know, my, my brother who's doing this and who's started the idea, you know, his heart and his passion being a new believer to win people over for Jesus. And I like seeing that excitement. I like seeing that spark. I think for me, 23 years of being um, saved, you know, you go through your ups and downs. Um, sometimes you're over the top excited about what's uh, going on and what God's doing in the world and people getting saved. And sometimes you get kind of jaded by, um, you know, American Christianity. And this was a new, fresh way, um, I think for me, just to do something, again, that was selfless, that was simple, um, representing uh, a quality watch that I knew it wasn't about just being a quality watch, it was what's going on behind the scenes. And what a lot of people don't know about what's going on behind the scenes is that it's the money's going into ministry, it's going into real people that have a heart um, for Jesus and to see people get saved. And so um, that was my heart behind it. I'm actually rocking the Ebony Savior watch. And um, I just want to encourage you and, and ask you guys for your support um, on this pledge campaign. Again, we're not just asking for donations. Um, this is a fine, fine quality. Um, I totally 
don't believe in taking people's money, man. Um, my boys have come up with a, an awesome, awesome product. It's nothing but heart and soul. All the materials are straight from Israel. It's a beautiful, beautiful watch. And so you're getting an amazing piece of jewelry. Um, but more importantly to me, on the back end is um, where the money goes. And that money is going to building churches. It's going to ministries that we believe in um, that truly do have a heart and a passion um, after Jesus. And that's to help people. That's to see people come to know truth, um, uh, love and forgiveness. and. I believe with all my heart and soul that uh, this company is going to help do that. Um, I myself have, uh, you know, nonprofit, um, and we're doing a lot of amazing things. And this is, um, as of right now, one of the only things that I'm supporting and backing up right now because I believe in what they're doing. So, save your watches, um, keep supporting, uh, keep believing, and um, if God puts it on your heart, man, help us do this, and it's going to do a lot of good. Um, you know, in our community and yours. So thank you guys uh, for supporting me. God bless you guys.